Welcome. Welcome to everyone who has joined us this morning. Our service this morning is a response to Chris Lowry's death. In sorrow, in thankfulness, in the companionship of those who have known her and worshipped with her and loved her. So our usual pattern will take place. There will be some led worship and then time for us to speak if we wish. So we have an opening prayer, which is the prayer we used last week, slightly adapted to deal with our new circumstances. If you feel able, do join in the words at home. Dear God, thank you for your presence with us, searching us out in the deep places of our lives and leading us on to new understandings of your will and purpose for the world you have made and love. Thank you for your resurrection hope and Pentecostal power, which enable us to make new beginnings and find the strength and courage to go on our pilgrim way so that grief gives way to hope and love consoles us. Thank you for Jesus, risen, ascended, glorified, to be embodied in us, in whose name and for whose sake we come to you this morning. And thank you for Chris, whose life and death fill our thoughts this morning as we come to you in sadness and great thankfulness for all that she has been to us. Amen. Can I ask you, if you haven't done so already, to make sure you're muted your microphone at home for the moment, because otherwise the sound starts to distort. We're going to say together the Kaddish, which is the prayer, which is the Jewish affirmation of faith in the face of death. And it seems very appropriate for Chris who enjoyed such good friendships in the Jewish community and was a link between us and them at St Andrew's Salt Lane Church. You will see there are responses in bold type, but you may like to join in with the whole of it at home. And so we say, magnified and sanctified be the great name of God in the world which he created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom in your life and in your days and in the lifetime of all his people. Quickly and speedily may it come and let us say, Amen. Blessed be God for ever. Blessed praised and glorified, exalted, extolled and honoured, magnified and lauded be the name of the Holy One, blessed be God. Though he be high above all the blessings and hymns, praises and consolations which are uttered in the world. And let us say Amen. Blessed be God forever. May there be abundant peace from heaven and life for us and for all people. Let us say Amen. Amen. Blessed be God forever.
I've chosen this reading from Proverbs because it is about wisdom and wisdom personified as a woman, a woman who calls and invites us. And I chose it because Chris always seemed to me to be a wise woman to everyone she met. Does not wisdom call? And does not understanding raise her voice? On the heights, beside the way, at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates in front of the town, at the entrance of the portal, she cries out, to you, O people, I call. And my cry is to all that live. O simple ones, learn prudence. Acquire intelligence, you who lack it. Hear, for I will speak noble things. And from my lips will come what is right for my mouth will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous. There is nothing twisted or crooked in them. They are all straight to one who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Take my instruction instead of silver and knowledge rather than choice gold for wisdom is better than jewels, and all that you may desire cannot compare with her. And now we move to our time of silent prayer, during which, if you wish, you can put prayers in the chat box to share with everyone. I was remembering how when we used to do this on Wednesday communions and we would share with each other our concerns for prayer, the people we loved, the things that were on our hearts, Chris would often be the one who reminded us to look outwards as well to the needs of the world, to the needs of the poor and the oppressed. And while we do this and hold ourselves in prayer. Um, we're going to hear the music of the Kentakion, the prayer for the souls of the dead in the Orthodox rite. <laughs>
two weeks ago, when we met for this service, Chris was with us. And I asked her if she would read for that service and she said she would. And she read the poem, The Old Woman of the Roads. So I thought we would treasure hearing her voice again in this poem, which speaks of a longing for home. An Old Woman of the Roads by Patrick Cullum. Oh, to have a little house, to own the hearth and stool and all, the heaped up sods upon the fire, the pile of turf against the wall. To have a clock with weights and chains and pendulums swinging up and down. A dresser filled with shining delf, speckled and white and blue and brown. I could be busy all the day, clearing and sweeping hearth and floor, and fixing on their shelf again my white and blue and speckled store. <sighs> I could be quiet there at night, beside the fire and by myself, sure of a bed and loath to leave the ticking clock and the shining dell. Oh, for I'm weary of mist and dark, and roads where there's never a house nor bush, and tired I am of bog and road, and the crying wind and the lonesome hush. And I am praying to God on high, and I am praying him night and day for a little house, house of my own, out of the winds and the rain's way. And a final prayer about being brought home to heaven. Do join with me in saying it at home if you would like to. Bring us, O oh Lord God, at our last awakening into the house and gate of heaven. to enter into that gate and dwell in that house where there shall be no darkness nor dazzling, but one equal light. No noise nor silence, but one equal music. No fears nor hopes, but one equal possession. No ends, no beginnings, but one equal eternity in the habitations of thy majesty and thy glory. World without end. Amen. And we're going to have a final piece of music, which is again the Sheffield Folk Chorale, in which Chris sang. Um, this is a favourite of the choir, um, a song called One More Song, which goes to a beautiful tune called Quendale Bay. Um, it starts in winter, but it ends on a bright morning.
must live at last.